Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at another unboxing video, which will be the Venom Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital plus retro action figure box set exclusively at Walmart. The reason why I got this because of the retro action figure, and I and I don't think I will open this, to be honest. I'm just gonna, like, I'll open the box and stuff, but I won't open the figure, you know? Like, I'll just keep it on the card and, um decorate my wall with it because if I open the box and got get get the figure out um I don't see like where to put it in my room for display or whatever I don't, I don't see a place for him <laughs> so let's get started shall we and also it costs twenty seven ninety six and plus tax because I live in California tax tends to kick your ass um it's 30.13 so yeah Oh well. But other than that, um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, here's the box right here in the front. You get pretty much an open box of the figure. Uh, yeah, only at Walmart. And when I was at Walmart, there was only two of these left. So, which is weird. So I'm going to assume it's like limited quantity, but it's more limited than I thought it would be. So that's kind of weird. But yeah, and that's all there is to it. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Venom movie? Personally, I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was fun. Um, I don't know. I actually, maybe I'm in the minority on this, but I actually do um, like Sony's handling of these characters, in my opinion. Even though some of their announcements of some movies doesn't really excite me, like the Morbius one. But personally, um... Yeah, what do you guys think of the Venom movie? Comment below and let me know your reasons why you liked it or why you didn't. Because my introduction with Venom was during the Todd McFarlane stuff and, you know, even Lethal Protector, which is what this movie's going for. And personally, um, and the PS1 video game. And then you have the exclusive Walmart tag and includes movies anywhere. But yeah, um, personally, you know... I know the basics for Venom, and I thought the movie did fine, especially without Spider-Man, with the character of Spider-Man in there, so they kind of got away with it, in my opinion, so let's open this up and see that this is how the inside looks, and let's check out the figure. And as you, as you can see here, here's the box, and here's the figure, so... Yeah, this Venom action figure. It's a pretty small card. You know, usually when you get cards like the Funko reaction figures, which I'm going to assume Funko made this because it looks like those reaction figures. Like, if you don't know what those reaction figures are, they're supposed to be throwbacks to Kenner's um, three-inch figures back in the day. So, this is what it is. And as you can see from the box, the articulation is probably head, shoulders, and hips. And then he probably comes with accessories, you know, like alternative arms, you know, like those tendrils or the weapons he creates in um, the movie. But, yeah. <laughs> and then the back is just plain, which is weird. Made in China. And it doesn't say Funko anywhere, so I'm going to assume it's Funko. Or maybe Sony actually did make this. I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> so, kind of plain. But, but I'll keep in the box just because if I open him, I don't think I'll have anywhere to put him. But let's open this up and let's take the box out of the way. And we got the movie right here. So, yeah, pretty plain. But like I said, comment below and let me know the reasons why you like this movie, why you did it. Because there's some people who love it or like it, some people who hate it, and some people are just in the middle of this movie. Personally, I think it was a good year. And, and I know I sound a bit tired because it's like, even though it's 7 in the morning, but I don't know. But yeah, I just woke up early just to pick this up. And yeah, and I'm glad I did. Even though $30 for this is kind of eh. So I'm going to assume it's like 20 bucks for the Blu-ray and $10 for the figure. So kind of typical. But yeah. Um, So there you go. And hopefully they do make a sequel because the sequel has potential. And I'm going to have to open this off camera, guys. Because this is, yeah, there's no way I can open this like that but um but yeah 
hopefully they do make a sequel because I feel like this movie, the character, even Tom Hardy, you know, have have potential. Like this franchise has potential, and hopefully they do include Spider Man, but not to the point where he takes away the attention from Venom. But yeah, but personally, I think Sony had a good year this year with the Spider Man PS Four. Um, this Venom movie, I think, whether you like it or not, it did fine. You know, it was successful. And, um, and then Spider-Verse. So, there you go. And let me open this just to check for the digital code. And, yep, the digital code's in here. And I'm going to have to block this out. But, yeah. As you guys can see here, here you go. And then let me turn it to the back. And there you go. And then the discs is pretty much pretty much your typical Sony disc right here. And the Venom artwork right here. So yeah, that's all there is to it, really. So there it is. And yeah, so this is Steven, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.